Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to demonstrate to you the concept of Boolean search operators in SharePoint Online. Uh, let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. So what are those uh, Boolean search operators? Uh, these are simple words that can help you combine or exclude certain results from your search. Uh, words like and, o, or not. Uh, let me give you an example. So here I have a document library, just three documents to de demonstrate this concept to you. And each and every document is obviously named accordingly. And I actually happen to have the same text inside of the, the document as well. So if I named my document red, white, and blue, then I have the same text uh, within the document. Now, the only reason I did this is just to demonstrate this to you. I obviously don't expect you to name your documents like this, but uh, the, the way SharePoint search works, it picks up on, you know, text and file name and metadata. Um, and I just wanted to, to know you what the document is all about. That's all. So um, I have this three documents. And obviously, if I'm looking for something in this library, I'm going to start typing some, something into the search box. Uh, when I type in red, all right, so obviously, I'm only getting two results that match this criteria. Again, uh, this search picks up on text inside of the document. So even though, even if I did not have the documents named like this, uh, the search would still pick them up. So in this case, I was looking for documents that have red as a keyword. And obviously, only two out of three documents have this text. Now, if I were to type in something like this, I want all the documents that have both red and blue keywords inside of it. So not just red is not good enough, all right? It has to be red and blue, both keywords on the same document. So in this case, I'm going to type this string right here, red and blue. And it's very, very important. You have to type in those Boolean operators in capital letters, all right? If I'm going to type, you know, in small letters, nothing will happen. You see, nothing is found, but if I, do this, you see it does find, let me actually refresh it. I think I just need to refresh my uh, library. Let's, let's try it again. Here we go. All right, here we go. It picked up just one document. Why? Because this is the only document that contains both of those keywords, all right? So this way you can kind of uh, streamline your search and uh, only pick you know, particular uh, sets, you know, subsets of documents when you're searching. Uh, let me show you another example. Let me show you another example. So I can type in red or blue, right? And uh, here we go. Now, in this case, out of three documents, it found all three. Why? Because either red or blue is present in any of these documents, you see? So obviously, it picked up. Uh, it picked up um, all three. Another Boolean, Boolean operator you can uh, utilize uh, is, uh, is called not. So that allows you to exclude results from your search. Just to give you an example, I want all the documents that uh, contain the keyword red, but that do not, um, I, I want to exclude the results uh, with the keyword blue. All right. So um, again, just again, just to repeat it. I want all the documents that contain one keyword, but if they happen to contain that other keyword as well, I don't want to see those documents. All right. So uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to type in red, not blue. So I'm going to exclude all the documents that contain the word. I want all the red documents, but I want to exclude all the documents that contain, you know, from that set or you know that contain the word blue. So here we go, perfect. And only one document, only one document is shown here. Uh, that other one that contained both of those keywords uh, is not shown up, why? Because it contained the word blue. It said red, but it also contained the word blue, all right? So that's why uh, that other document uh, is not shown up because I pretty much told it, uh, you know, told SharePoint to please exclude it, all right? So. Um, by default, I suspect you will probably be utilizing just a regular kind of keyword search, right? And type in the, you know, the text, uh, 
that comes to your mind, right? And as far as keywords, but this Boolean operators give a lot more power because you can, you know, you can uh, definitely streamline your searches, uh, exclude certain results, combine certain results, etc. All right. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is that um, I showed you the example where I had those particular keywords as part of the file name or part of the, uh, you know, text. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter where those, you know, keywords um uh, where, where where they appear all right uh, they could be part of the file name they could be part um of the text within the file they could also be part of metadata if i had a column called color all right if and i had applied metadata right white red white blue etc uh, to those files this search would also pick up those metadata values as well all right so essentially what i showed you in terms of you know in terms of the search in terms of the boolean operators it applies to pretty much all three. It applies to metadata, it applies to file names, as well as the text inside of the documents, all right? So that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully you learned a new trick. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.